Hey everyone, so today I want to discuss teenager <laughs> teenagers that are very disrespectful to their parents. Like, I don't understand why any child would want to be disrespectful to their parents for the main reason that um, they just do everything for you. They supply a roof over your head, they make sure you're fed every night they watch out for you, they're always going to be there for you, they give you clothes, supplies for school, they give you anything you ever need and more. They've sacrificed a lot for you, most likely. They want to make sure that you have the best. They want to make sure that your life in the future is as grand as you hoped for it to be. And I know when you're a teenager it seems like, oh my god, my parents want me to do everything, da 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 Stop fucking complaining because it's really not that bad because when you become an adult, like, I'm only 20 and I hate being an adult. I wish I could go back in time and be a kid again. Um, it's a lot harder. You have to pay for your own phone, you have to pay f for rent, you have to help pay utilities and whatnot. And I would give anything just to be a kid again, or just be in high school again, because it was just so much easier. So, if you think you have it bad now, just wait till you're older. Trust me, you will regret ever being disrespectful to your parents and hating the fact that you have to do chores, because trust me, that's nothing. My mom gave me chores. So this way, I would be responsible when I'm older, so I would know whenever there's a mess, clean it. Whenever something needs to be paid, pay it. And if you don't have a job, fucking find one. There's millions of places that are possibly looking for people. It's not an, it's not an impossible thing. Yes, it's hard, especially in this economy. It's really hard to come by and hard to find a job, but it's not impossible either because everybody's trying to get a job. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, when I was in high school, I, and even middle school and elementary school, my responsibilities were to make sure the bathroom was clean by my room, make sure my grandpa's bathroom was clean because my grandpa couldn't do it, he was disabled, um, make sure my grandpa's room was vacuumed if he wanted it, if he wanted his laundry done, do it, that is, of course, if my mom wasn't home to do it, that was my responsibility. Um, make sure the dishes were clean and put away. Make sure that if the dishwasher was full and the dishwasher was already run, put the dishes away so this way the next time my mom wanted to use the dishwasher, it would be ready for her to use. Help my mom with dinner. If my mom wasn't home, cook dinner. Um, make sure my room was cleaned, the litter box was done, and walk the dog. That is, of course, if my mom wasn't home to do most of the other stuff. Um, if I had laundry, I was responsible for doing that. Um, every day before I go to school, I would have to do my make my bed. Um, there was more. I just don't really remember because it's been so long, but. Anyway, that was pretty much my list of chores, and I never complained about it because I knew what my mom wanted me to do. It was for a good reason, and I never asked questions because, I'm sorry, I wasn't disrespectful ever to my mother, and I wasn't going to question what she wanted me to do because that's not how I was raised. I was raised to respect my parents and respect anybody that asked me to do anything that were older than me. If they asked me to do something, it is my responsibility to do it. And if I asked a question or was disrespectful, I would get in trouble. And there would be consequences based on what I did. Everything you do has a consequence to you. And there, you can't fight it. I'm sorry. Because even when you're older, whatever you do, there is a consequence to it. If you want to sell drugs and sleep and uh, be a prostitute, there is a freaking consequence to that jail. <laughs> Sorry, that's just how it is. If you want to do drugs, there's consequences for that, which is jail, rehab, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Um, parents, 
just want to protect you and look out for your best interests. Just because they're telling you to do chores and also keep up on your schoolwork, it doesn't mean that they're telling you that your life has to end. No, because if you do them enough, you get rewarded, depending on... Well, I used to get um, rewarded for always making sure that I did my chores and my grades were good. My mom would randomly come home with bags and she'd put them on the bed and say, surprise! And there'd be clothes, shoes, handbags, whatever she wanted to buy me, she would do. And if my mom ever needed help at the job that she owned, she owned a salon before she was disabled, um, she would have me work there sometimes if um, the receptionist couldn't make it or if she was out of town or whatever, she would have me work there. And um, most of the time, most of the time, she wouldn't pay me, but she would take me out shopping and say, hey, to go pick out anything you want. And whatever she felt, um, how do I explain it? Whenever she felt the price range of how I worked was good enough, she would say, okay, hey, that's enough, let's go home. And I'd be happy. I was, I was happy. I didn't need anything. I didn't ask for anything. And if I did, it was something very small. And if my mom asked me what I wanted for my birthday, I wouldn't go overboard and ask for, oh, I want an iPod, I want a cell phone. No. My first cell phone I got when I was in, my first real cell phone was sophomore year. And I had it until senior year. And now I have to pay for my own phone, so you think you have it so bad. Seriously, if I could just go back in time and be a kid again, I would so do it because it sucks being an adult. It really does. I mean, yeah, there are good parts and everything, but it's so much easier just to be a kid. And if you're a teenager watching this video, seriously, just do your chores. Do what you have to do. And don't complain about it. Don't be disrespectful to your parents because they're all you'll ever have. Like, friends, they're not so important because after high school, you will probably lose most of your friends that you thought you'd be friends with forever. And you really won't make any real, real friends until college because that's when people, like, let's say you're in school, you're in college for business management. You're going to be friends with people who are in the same field as you because you can relate to one another and you can even open up your own business together. It's always... In high school, you're not sure what you want to do and you'll pretty much be friends with whoever um, is in the same clique as you. But trust me, after high school, there are no cliques. That's just how it is. It's just... Who do you work with? Who do you go to college with? And who will you pursue your financial career with? And, and all that. But yeah, there are times where you'll remain friends with some of the people that you know from high school, but it won't be as much as, a, as, much as you want them to be. But that's just how it is. So my message, it, once again, don't be disrespectful to your parents. Because who's going to pay for your wedding? Who's going to always make sure that you're safe and happy and doing whatever you want to do in life? And who's going to pay for your college? Who's going to pay for your car? Who's going to pay for your car insurance? It's them. They're always there for you. They're number one. They're top priority in your life, just like your top priority in their life. And the simple things they ask you to do are not as difficult. And it only takes a few minutes out of your day. And trust me, it's not hard to do schoolwork and keep up with your friends at the same time. It's really not, because I did it. And I'm still doing it. I'm not living with my parents. I'm living with my boyfriend and his mom, but I pay rent. I help clean. And whatever else needs to be done, that's what I do. So. Yeah, feel free to like this video, um, subscribe to my channel, um, comment, add me as a friend, 
send me your videos, whatever. And I will see you some other time. <laughs> but have an excellent weekend, got uh, week. <laughs> have an excellent week. Um, I will be posting a video maybe Wednesday or Friday. I'm not sure. Don't know. So, yeah. Bye. I love you all.